So today is New Year's Eve and the past few days I haven't been feeling very good and I have a suspicion that I might be pregnant. But this morning I went to Walmart to get a pregnancy test. So we're gonna find out. So it has two lines, which means we're pregnant. Now I need to figure out how to tell Adam. No. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. For real? Mm -hmm. You? What? Yep. Are you serious? Oh. I think it just hit him. It's settling in. Oh boy. Awesome news, but oh boy. <laughs> We're going to the hospital to be induced. So how are you feeling about being a dad? Terrified. Very terrified. I have to explain the world to a little person. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's a boy. A little blue headed bear. Babe, it's a boy. Well, what have I been saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cute. We got a little boy. I just knew it was a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a boy. types and all that and she said dad I've got you a form too and it was the perfect form for me it was the what will your baby's name be couldn't have been left into a more capable man's hands we are how many hours in a lot of hours in um, with not a lot of action happening we've had her get measured multiple times we're not further along dilated really um, we had Viva Chicken, we can report that. Uh, we played Mario Kart while she was laying in the bed. I never thought that would happen, so that was interesting. Here comes a contraction. Here comes a contraction. Oh, it looks like it's high up there. Oh, it's building. It's building. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that one doesn't hurt as much as the one before it, did. it has plateaued. So that's what we're doing. Um, we're about to go at 6.15 and get the process started to hopefully go into labor. Um, it's a foley bulb. A foley bulb. It's a foley bulb. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound appealing, but it's going to get us where we need to be. And when I say us, I mean her completely and this is not a flattering angle this was a terrible place <laughs> to take an update video Kim says boy. 
Little update. We are going on our what? Too many to count. Thirty something. We're getting there, but we uh, we're still the same distance along, the same centimeters dilated. The doctors continue to say we really want to see what your body will do. We're getting it to go there naturally, but we're happy that through the entire process, they keep coming in and checking all the vitals and saying, the baby's completely happy and healthy and everything's going great. That's why we're being so patient with it. Pretty uh, devastated this morning when they came in after she had the balloon and all that and they took it out and they're like, all right, we're ready to see some progress. And we see the nurses, the midwife's eyes look up at the nurse like, she's at one and a half. <laughs> this is just what we started at. She's on the Pitocins. They have stopped the Cytotex. But they put her on Pitocin and they keep upping the dosage. So we'll see. Hopefully this puts her into more dilation and labor. Stay tuned. We finally get to leave the hospital. We got here on Friday morning, and now it is Monday morning. It's been a long weekend. How are you feeling about taking your son home for the first time? So excited to get out of the hospital. He's had a great time here. I'm excited for him to go outside for the first time, get in a car for the first time, go to his house for the first time. 